Hello everyone and welcome to my channel and today I'll be reading a multi-character listener by me so let's get into it Kaza Kaza would be really happy about giving you a massage and he's surprisingly good at it too it kind of shocks him when you do tell him that your bones are sore so he does what he can think of and tells you to sit down and massage your shoulders your neck and really everywhere you need it and it's probably the most relaxed you've ever felt his hands are like a miracle honestly you'd close your eyes and let out a soft slow sigh he needed this so so badly and he didn't know what he had just done to you when he was done he turned around and kissed him on the cheeks. Thank you, Kazu. Oh, I'm gonna sleep so well tonight, he said. And he smiled softly, just happy to be able to make you feel better. I'm glad that you're feeling better now. And if you want, you can ask me to do the same time later. I don't mind, Wyan. You really got blessed with the sweetest boyfriend. So, make sure to cherish him. Albedo. Somehow I think Albedo would be really good at giving you massages. And, once he knows that you're feeling not so good, he tells you to lay your head down in his lap, and you're kind of weirded out by it. But then he turns you around, face down, and starts massaging you. His hands are so soft and gentle going all the right places and you honestly can't help the sighs that are let out by your mouth and even better when he lifts up your shirt to massage your lower back he sprinkles some soft kisses here and there then again it wouldn't be albedo massaging you if he didn't kiss you right perhaps it's just to remind you that this is something between you and him something that's more than just a mere massage. And honestly, you're not too upset with that reminder. Perhaps, later on, you can ask for more than just a massage. For now though, you are more than glad for how refreshed and amazing you felt. Venti. Now, Venti would probably know how to give a massage, but he hasn't done it in a really long time. So when you do ask him for one, right away, he tells you that he will try to do his best. And at first, it's kind of messy. And it's full of feels, as you try to remind him that that's really not how it's done. And he will still laughing at his silly mistakes. But somewhere along the way, it's really good. And honestly, you start to think, that he made up the fact that he was forgetting just to make you laugh and it worked but by the end of it all you were extremely relaxed and you were laying in his arms the two of you curled up around one another as you let Venti hold you while he stroked your hair gently watching as you relax in his arms after that very amazing massage of his Scaramouche Scaramouche probably does not know how to give a massage, and he would be really confused and awkward about it. You want a massage? From him? Why not anyone else? Do note, though, that he would never take the hint. He would never figure it out, the fact that you want a massage, and you would have to tell him, very honestly. And even then, he'd be really confused about it. So... When he does actually try to give you a massage like I had asked, it's kind of confusing to him. He has zero idea where to start or how to do it, and you have to guide him and tell him exactly what to do. His movements are too gentle and too hesitant, and honestly, it's very cute. But by the end of it, he does end up giving you a very decent massage. So... It's all good. But he's blushing, and you have no idea why. He 
you just kind of got shy at being clueless. And he's not really used to doing this kind of thing. So do give him a kiss. And reassure him that you did as well as you could have, which was really good. Donari? Donari's such a sweetheart, and he is an incredibly capable doctor. But what you had no idea about was how good he would be at giving you a massage. Literally, did not expect it. So, when he ended up giving you a heavenly massage, one time, you couldn't help yourself but demand it over and over again. But Donari would never say no to you. After all, who better to offer his glorious services to better than his girlfriend? No one else was deserving of this. Like you were. He honestly believed that you worked hard. And did a lot. So it's the very least that he could do. To try and take away some of your tiredness. And make you feel better. And seeing the smile on your face. It's so much more relaxed than usual. After each massage he gives you. It makes him feel so much better. And that's the boy for these chaps to be. Someone who can make you feel at ease and make you feel better whenever he can. And honestly, you would never get annoyed by it. So whenever you need anything from Donari, you know to ask right away. Shal, you had your idea that he would know about what a massage is. But he's not so cool as is not to know. However, he would be too shy to actually give it to someone. So, when he heard you saying that your bones were sore, he ended up telling you that he may be able to give you a massage. And the idea sounded really good to you. So why deny it? Especially the idea of receiving a massage from Shao of all people. That was enticing in and of itself. So you couldn't help but nod and tell him that you really desperately needed one. And Xiao being Xiao, he didn't want you to be tired, and didn't want to say no to you. That's how we were now laying on bed, with Xiao massaging you. His hair clipped up, so we'd be able to focus, as you put on some lotion on your skin, massaging the lotion onto your back, before just continuing with this massage to make you relax. And... You kind of felt sleepy afterwards. You can't help it. How is he so good at this? He had to be using some magic or something. But nope, he wasn't. It was all his true and hard-earned skills. But you were now questioning where he got them from. But he would know in due time.